really took someone very special to us. And I just wanted to pay for what he did. Today, the family of 27-year-old Eddie Irizarry embraced each other as their lawyer played newly discovered neighborhood ring camera footage from one week ago on Willard Street in Kensington. It shows Irizarry, who was schizophrenic, pull over after police say he was driving erratically. Two officers quickly get out of their patrol car, tell him to show his hands and drop the knife, which the family's lawyer says was a pocket knife. Within seconds, one of the officers opens fire into the closed driver's side window and windshield killing Irizarry. Later, the officers carried him out of the car. What about what you just saw could ever be confused as he got out of the car and lunged at police officers? Not a single thing. That was an out-and-out, flat-out lie. Initially, that's what police reported, but then changed the story after viewing the officer's body-worn camera. The family wants to see it. Allow them to see the body-worn camera footage privately. Even if it weren't going to be released publicly allow this family to see that privately. According to the family's attorney, they were invited to watch the video last Friday, but the offer was rescinded. Who gave you that invitation? Why did they rescind it? What did they tell you? The city solicitor's office extended that invitation to us. We, of course, extended it to the family, and we were ex exceedingly glad that within short order we were going to get a chance to watch that. The Philadelphia District Attorney's Office rescinded that offer, citing uh, an ongoing investigation. What do you want to happen now? Well, you know, our investigation, quite frankly, is ongoing. But we'd be hypocrites if we unearthed something like this and didn't give it to the public the way in which we asked for the police to. So that's exactly what we're attempting to do. In a statement, the police department tells me the law requires the prosecuting attorney's written approval prior to the department's public release of the body-worn camera videos and 911 recordings. The police department has not received that and is therefore prohibited by law from releasing the footage at this time. I also reached out to the district attorney's office. A spokesperson says in part, we will have more to say about this situation when we can do so consistent with preserving the quality and integrity of our independent investigation. He committed a crime. Like I said, he needs to go to jail.